Welcome to a new short video on my ESP32 right here Internet of Things um, device uh, without yet Internet of Things because um, networking is uh, not enabled yet but connected to light emitting diode LED buzzer SEM segment display actually um, 7 LEDs the microphone not connected, um, keyboard connected, keypad, LCD, liquid crystal display, and somewhat hidden light dependent resistor. And not to forget two motors. Physitechnic pulse width driven, pulse width modulation driven motor, and a server motor which is also pulse width modulation driven. Connected to four probes, um, pulse modulation, voltage, this one, um, and two to the uh, wires of the keypad. Connected, of course, um, also to computer, which I will show shortly. So, uh, how will it go? Um, I hope everything will still work except for these two because um, how they behave is erratic both um, using the Arduino IDE and um, uh, the ESP IDF toolchain in which I use regular C instead of AVRC enough talking let's upload and see whatever happens Right, a uh, handheld camera, well actually an old uh, webcam um, in a slightly different position than the other one um, both are now on, both are on the tripod by the way um, anyway this is the Arduino IDE um, and everything is set to ESP um, ah and I think I forgot to set something um, but I'm not quite sure let's make it for certain which means that I have to check um, the ownership of TY USB 2 which is indeed root so I have to change ownership to myself And without it, oh yeah, that's not correct, not ETC, DEV, device, that is better, now it's mine, should not be necessary, but um, it has proven to be, compiling, uploading, And then very curious to see whatever happens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and one motor. The other one doesn't give a sign of life. LCD is working. Um, let me try to show you. Can you see it? That is unmistakably the buzzer. Well, the text of the uh, LCD doesn't show very clearly, but better um, sound segment display clearly shows so now it is time to start a serial monitor
and also, okay, um, LDR value shows something. Let me test if it actually does work by covering it up. 554 five, millivolts. How does it respond anyway? LCD test is working, but that is not my not interesting right now. And okay, that's a bit different. All right, so more interesting. The keypad keys haven't tried those for a long time. And the problem is, can I watch it work? Can I see it work? I'm afraid the answer is still not really. So with both hands, let me not block the camera by the way, um, I'm pressing And I'm looking at the lower two lines of the oscilloscope. And no matter what the result on screen is, they should show something. Oh really, I touched it and... Okay, now it goes again. So I am moving the probe to another one, to another line. Let me move the motor in entirely. All right. Yep, there it goes again. After a bit, a little bit of force. And then just another wire. Um, this one, what does it indicate? It should do something. Uh, considering everything, pressing all keys, the only thing that I know now is, yeah, well, it doesn't do anything, but signal-wise, there should be something. Um, yeah, this is a bit awkward. Okay, let me put it like this. Uh, the only thing that I think of now is disconnecting everything from the keypad. Because this doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, by a lack of some nice thin wires, I have replaced these wires, which were here by some 60 ohm um, resistors that should really make a difference if any for a nice connection for a nice signal to or from the keypad Given the fact that um, left are for rows and uh, right for rows and left are for columns, there should be at least one signal for something. So, 
Let's so once again try. Column, 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 column. And at the same time rows of course. Nothing at all. So back to the code again. Keypad code. How does it work again? Reading for columns, reading for rows. And I should really be reading them. Pin 33, pin 30 something. Do I have them here? I should not use this. Um, yep, those are really those. Um, so, pin, let me use this one for an example. And I am locking my own view now. Let me put them here. So, Putting this against 33, which then is which one? A column, which really should be a column. Let's test. It doesn't do a thing. So 33 is then which one? Coming from here, either this one or maybe that one or any other of the four present. And that's going to be the problem, which one is which, and expecting. Row 1. Row 1 is this one, so this is row 4. Pin Pin 32, uh, no, pin 33 is row 2. Let me try again. Alright. Pin 33, so that is either this one, or that one, or this one, or that one. And neither is doing anything at all. So this is not nice. I have to uh, think of yet another uh, yet another solution. But which one is the big question? Rewinding this? Or maybe thinking that this one is, is corrupt? And I don't think it's going to be that one. And which one is which again? Good point. I have here a very long wire. And the rest is the same length. Which makes me suspect that, yeah, clutter of wires. Not making it any easier. Uh, oh, by the way, 
Just now I realize Just now I realize That the voltage is absolutely zero uh, That cannot be good either The voltage at the beginning is absolutely zero Why would that be? It is set to 5 volts, it should uh, show at least 3.3 volts And this is bare metal so I should, be see, so I should see something and it is working because this motor is working This one is working Everything else is working So if this shows 0 volts Now what do other things show? This is minus and this is plus and plus doesn't show a thing alright let me check this voltage that's not good either what's wrong with this probe then? another problem Alright, um, some questionable results, um, partly done the rewiring, need to do much more, um, but that's for next time. Thank you for watching, anyway, uh, if you like this uh, video please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment or suggestion, very much appreciated, and if you uh, would like to support me, or the videos anyway, and my blog, then please uh, make a donation via either PayPal or Wired and you can also choose to become a patron and depending on the pledge you make may have your name mentioned um, on my website and on with my videos this is going to be continued for now have a nice day and bye bye oh by the way um, please uh, watch uh, the information under my video uh, like URL of my website and social media. For now, have a nice day again and bye bye.